Hello, welcome to J Kind Video Gaming. My name is Adam, and I'm Beth, and we're here with more Starfield on the Power from Beyond. Woot woot! Acquire the power from Piazzi Two. And so we've come down here and we're gonna get out at this scanner anomaly. Woohoo! Could we talk? Okay, let's stop and talk to her for a second. Yes. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Mm. It sure didn't look like any culture I've ever seen or heard of. Nor I. Nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? <laughs> There's no way humans are responsible for that. No way? There's it is some... hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you alright? Have you felt any side effects? Mm. You think there will be side effects? Side effects? How can any of us know what will happen? This is the definition of unprecedented, is it not? I hadn't thought about it, but now you got me worried. That was not my intent. I only meant to suggest that I am concerned about your well-being. Please, do not worry. I am sure everything will be, you know, fine. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. Mm. We've only gotten this far by working together. Yes, you are right. <laughs> and if we continue to work together, perhaps we can start to explain some of this. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here. Okay. All right. Cool. I was like, I was like, what's the thing that's gonna make her like us? <laughs> I didn't care if Sarah liked us. I care if Andresia likes us. I like Andresia. Okay, where's our goal? Where's the anomaly? Did we survey the outside of this planet? No, I think I forgot. Okay. What does your scanner reveal? supposed to follow the juju by the way I mean I think I am mm, okay right <laughs> I I wasn't sure if you were intending to or not I just yeah. had clicked in my mind to say it yeah so I, was like, I thought I was yeah I honestly wasn't paying attention I was just looking at the resources so I wanted to make sure that we were on the same page that that was probably something that we should do yeah Oops. 
Do we... S okay. Part of me is wondering if literally it's not, oh, we get extra stuff from mining or something, but if it might actually be we're able to see more other things. Like, like we just didn't see all the stuff that was on here before. Maybe. Because I feel... I mean, it's possible that it's just, oh, this planet is like this. This planet just has eight resources. Yeah. Man, we can always test out going to one that we've been to before. But, I mean, it's... Doing things like that is what it's giving us... Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm starting to think that that's probably it. Yeah, probably. Okay, when that thing pops up, like, is, like, where they are in that thing, is maybe that, like, the rarity? I don't know, but... I... Because it's, like, a triangle chart of, yeah. of resources? Yeah, maybe. So one of the things I'm wondering is if it's the same every time for, like, the chaos of just float around this room somewhat randomly like it was last time, or if maybe there's a different way that we access mm -hmm. different ones. Like, Because if it's just float around the room randomly, I'm like, ugh. Because it felt very disorienting and confusing, and like it was just kind of random. Right. Oh, you've done this long enough for, uh, you're fine. Yeah. Because, yeah, it feels like I'm just getting so much more variety of stuff, and it could just be this planet. There are eight different things on this planet, and I you have been lucky to just run into all of them. Yeah, but a lot of times it feels like, yeah, it's so hard to find some of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, like, we've had, like, big old charts like that before. Yeah, the only thing that we're missing right now is flooring. stuff. Is that the one we're missing? Yeah. F no, fluorine, not chlorine. Okay. Yeah, fluorine. Uh, I thought you said chlorine. No, I was yeah. like, oh, there's chlorine. No, we've seen a lot of chlorine. Okay. Chlorine, just like the base of the ground that we're walking on. Jump over the wall? No, Adam, you can't jump over the wall. Maybe go through the door. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Maybe you should follow the arrows. Never mind, the arrows are gone. Arrows. Exit screen, re enter screen. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, arrows. Uh, that's why I was. I was like, wait a minute. We have a we have an app for that. Yeah. The app is all like, go this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks to be the exact same thing. Okay. Well, hold on. We haven't seen it do its thing. It could be the same room with a different objective. I guess. Nope. 
same silly thing. Float into the stars. Go into and out of the circle. Try and be fastest to find these so you can get through this weird part. Well, I'm just wasting time walking around doing it. Okay. I am space! I am the chosen space girl! Definitely seeing more on the visions now. Yeah. Oh, did you help us? Oh, freezing liquid rain. Wait, that was a nice. For science. <laughs> when they show up next time, is the amp still on them? <laughs> okay. Is this just like a temporary thing like we can store whatever we want on this body and all we have to do is do another thing in this and it'll give us back the yeah. app? <laughs> to pick our stuff back up? Oh my goodness. You have my attention. Ah. Uh, thought maybe yes. you'd want to talk about what just happened again. No, uh, no, no. She wants to do it at random times and you're not ready for it. That's how they always work. Um, freezing rain. Um, ambient cold. Hey, we no longer have our, our damaged limbs from... Um, Super projection depleted. Super projection depleted. Okay, so we have powers. Yep. So we have our anti-gravity field. Mm -hmm. Which costs 45 power. Uh, I have a total of 60 power, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, generate a localized field of intense low gravity and the whole of the planet's true power. Okay. Mm. Um, first life, oxygen, pure and clean, brought forth to breathe deep and counteract harmful carbon dioxide. Ooh. Your abilities are truly amazing. Yeah, they're just, it's just helping to restore us. I mean, not entirely, but... And then I think this little thing below our health bar, that blue bar, bar, I think that's our power bar. So it, it, it. I uh, also just like having this one better, because this yeah. one doesn't feel like it's going to attack anyone. Yeah, no, I agree. We know from experience that the other one does attack people. Yeah, so I'm like... <sighs> I'm just walking, hold on. Um. <laughs> Hold on, I don't have to walk. I can fast travel. Okay, we did that. We have to go back to Vladimir. It's a miscellaneous yeah, quest. Yeah, we don't have to. Be no, it's a miscellaneous quest because it will let us keep, as long as we have artifacts... We can keep going and talking to him, and he will give us one at a time to go get powers that we've earned for whatever artifacts we have. Oh. So if we want, we can go do another one, and they're probably going to all be this simple, and it gives us just a variety of things to do. Oh, you want to just kind of knock them all out? I, I don't know. We can't... I don't think... Uh, I I'm, I'm, was surprised. Five undiscovered temples. So five undiscovered temples probably suggests... Um, have we found a total of seven artifacts? I don't know. 
don't know. I don't feel like it could be that many. Well, Although I maybe started with a couple. Yeah, because they might have had a few beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, part of me is also found. wondering because it's like you have a total of sixty power. Does like completing a circle give me more power, or like, like is there a way to mm-hmm. up that? Because sixty feels like an arbitrary number if that's just your permanent. This is how much you have. Right, I agree. I don't know. Brain just doing a thing. I again did not want to go to the map. Um, uh. Um, what's our, what's our faction ones again? Yeah, so we don't want to quite do Crimson Fleet yet, because I'd much rather Crimson Fleet be a later game, more okay. power kind of thing, okay. just because it, it's against a lot of people, I feel like. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, no, we'll, we'll Eventually we'll go to the city where that's all based off of, mm-hmm. and, and we'll, we'll know more then. Um. So that's continuing with our Terra. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. Spend a bit? Yeah. Loading, loading, loading. Our this pictures went away. On loading. Sometimes it's just a black screen. I, I feel like usually it's a black screen when it's supposed to be a shorter mm. load time. It was right. not. No. You put us close, but there was this whole elevation thing in the way. Mm-hmm. I just want to do a thing. I'm just going to switch this question real quick. Oh, you want to talk to him to do that Is so we can just go to... No, I don't. Basically, what I was doing is I'm checking, like, um, is he back on the eye or is he still um, right over there in the lodge? Because if he was right there in the lodge, that's like, I might as well just walk over to the lodge first. Because um, when we're here, the lodge is like, right, right over there. Right. So I was like, Mm, that way it's just, if we happen to be around, we can we do it. Mm-hmm. But if we have to go up to the eye, I don't want to handle yeah. that. <laughs> the workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My oh. relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon, one time fleet admiral of the UC during the colony war, former oh. head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. <laughs> That's the one that I want to ask. You're a clone of a man? How does that work? A non-trivial amount of gene editing. Clone, honestly, isn't even really the right term for our relationship, thanks to the amount of donor material that was required to bring me into this world. Mm. He and I are different on more than a few levels. Obviously. But there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. Um, I'm more interested in what this has to do with us addressing the cabinet. I'm getting there. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Free Star Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. Hmm. 
No, go up. You're not your father. If the cabinet doesn't see that, it's their problem, not yours. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. Holding a grudge against where a person comes from that is both ignorant and cruel. Just the way things are sometimes. You she know, might be the love of my second, life. Was there anything Wait, else what? we needed to discuss? <laughs> I know you got Net dropped Ember's into life, right? this pretty fast. Right. Obviously. Or if you've got any last minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's going to keep us waiting out here. Mm -hmm. Uh... Any suggestions on what I should say to the cabinet? Uh, it's hard to know exactly what might sway them. I'd just be honest about what you saw. A colony wiped out and a lot of lives lost. Something we don't want anyone else to have to experience. I don't have any questions, no. Then I guess it's just a matter of... Sounds let's like go. our cue. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Is let's go, going? quick. Madonna Adrian! Way. Adrian! Okay, there we go. If we can avoid Their brains started working at the same effort. moment. But Andresia said run. I am allergic to bureaucracy. Oh, well, sorry, Andresia. We are going in. Of course, take your time. You just tell her to wait or something? Yep. Seemed like a good idea? Yeah. yeah. She said she didn't want to come in. Yeah, she so. doesn't want to come in and wonders and doesn't want to do bureaucracy. I don't know if that does the same. Like, it might have been better to go or follow separate ways. Go back to the ship. Mm hmm. It might be a hassle depending on if the quest drops us off somewhere. Right. But I chose what I chose. Yeah. That's okay. Excuse me. Just once they could assign me to Neon. That's not too much to ask. <laughs> Parsons. Just once. Oh. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Hmm. Hadrian made it clear that addressing this issue required the utmost urgency. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three armistice signatories. You see, Freestar Collective and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Mm. Mm. Hmm. So we could do that, or... They don't like Adrian, though. Right. Um, or we can go with... Well, at least that one guy that seemed to scoff at her didn't yeah. like her. So you know at least one person doesn't like her. Do she we want to go might sensational be... and, and get him... What do you mean? Oh... <laughs> The, the what even's in this archive, Captain? No, like the we need the uh, archive to stop term of apocalypse. Oh yes, no yes, is, uh, we need the archival data to find a way to stop a possible terramorph apocalypse. Yes, no, I like That's that. That's quite the leap, Captain. Is it, Madam President? I object to the very premise of this meeting. 
While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Yassine has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think mm. it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Mm. Mm. Keep going sensational. Landonian's a big thing to them. Yeah. I only know what I, I only know what I was told. The tissue matched ones from Londonian. Just taking her word for it as well then. Hmm. Yeah. So it would seem. So then, Captain. Given the discussion now, and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? Maybe we only have one thing we can... Yeah, if there's a chance what happened on Tau Ceti could happen elsewhere, we need to grant the request. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Well, I am not. I've heard nothing here to convince me that we should do anything but wait. And I will not risk galactic peace on a question of if. Yes, a fair assessment, Chief Diplomat. So then, while the data you two have presented is compelling, I think we can safely say it's insufficient for the level of action you've requested. Perhaps once we... What was that? Attention. Attention. <gasps> Incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. Terramorphs on our big city. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? We left been Andrea outside. At the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. There. There must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. The nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on so it, we should be able to get Andresia. Captain, I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. All right. Go back out the way we came. Go get in Andresia. Yeah. So, so this time it's gonna be like in city having a fight. Mm -hmm. Do they act like multiple? You! The EM rifle, grab it! Now! Stop! We're trying to help you! Please! I can't! 
That's what the it. hell is this? Now hit him with everything you've got. Put the EM weapon. What the? What the hell is this? First off, it didn't take us out where we. No, went it did through. not. Which I'm sad about. Game weapon collected. Try to put the hostile citizenry to sleep. Mm. Stealth EM yeah, icons. Stealth lasers, which might not be. trying to do non-lethal damage to them while other people are trying to do mm -hmm. proper damage to them. Okay. Okay. I feel like some of them have just taken different amounts to get down. Yeah. Like... You're... Why are you still marked as an objective? Because she's down because of them, not because we put them to sleep. We're putting them. Okay, to sleep. so we're looking for the thing above it at the top to go up. Yep. Okay. Um. I did not realize that this would be a thing. Yeah, there's there's a whole thing here. We'll, we'll figure out this thing oh my gosh. next time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and hopefully hopefully eventually get Andresia back. Right? I mean, she's in she's in the city. She's outside the, the place. She'll be fine. Um, no, that's where the Terramorphs are. No, they're at the spaceport. Oh, okay. They're a whole different section. We have to take a train to get there. And I'm oh. thinking, like, can we leave the train station, go up and get her? We'll see. Um, but yeah, anyways, join, join us next time. We'll figure things out. Yeah. Bye. Bye.